Welcome everybody and it is so wonderful to see so many of you here today. It's really quite overwhelming. Um, thank goodness that we are back in the room and we can bring these events back together and bringing together the community which means so much to us all. So thank you all so much for coming today. It really is so good to see you. Thank you. We have got an absolutely jam-packed conference agenda for you today. that conference last year that we were going to be merging with the East Midlands. We had a record year this year with the West Midlands PA Awards. We received 75% of nominations from executives and it just goes to show how much the landscape is changing and what an impact a community like this can make. Our CSR supporters group, our menopause support group continues to grow and we also have a really thriving mentoring initiative. We also launched our Aspire Committee which is all about celebrating Generation Next coming into the profession. We're also not stopping there, we are launching PA Forum Schools initiative. If you're willing to volunteer your time and come into schools with us to talk about how important the profession is and try and get some new fresh blood and some talent into our profession we would love to hear from you we were talking last night and schools really are in a really difficult place at the moment in terms of work experience opportunities there are so many businesses sat in the room here so please do and have a chat please ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for the incredible Lucy Brazier OBE here is the global skills matrix if you haven't seen it yet it is the first global framework that is out there for assistance for your career. It shows the different levels of assistance. 58% of assistants felt they were underutilized. 73% felt that their organizations didn't understand the role or the potential impact of using them properly. And 60% felt there was little or no opportunity for career progression. You need to be a gatekeeper of time, not a gatekeeper of people. Your job is to make sure that every hour of their time is best spent. Every minute of their time is best spent. Start thinking about how much they're worth an hour and how you can shave five minutes off here or 10 minutes off there. Do they need to be in that meeting at all? Or could you take that meeting down to them being there for 20 minutes and then getting a summary afterwards? And every business in the world right now is looking at what the ROI is on every member of staff. And for the first time, you are included in that. How can you support them to get to be the best that they can possibly be if you don't understand what their goals and their KPIs are? And I'm not suggesting they're the same. What I'm suggesting is that your job is to make them the best they can possibly be. The best assistants right now are curious and they really want to partner with their executives. I think quite often assistants get missed and they get missed because you don't have your own department. And the minute you call it a department, you have structure. You've got KPIs and goals. You've got a way of measuring performance, just like everybody else in the business. You get budget for training. Wow, what a cracking day we've had here at the Voco St John's Solly Hall. I can't believe that it's our seventh year now as a PA Forum Learning and Development Conference. Never in a million years would I have imagined that we'd have had over 220 assistants here today. Absolutely massive thank you to every single person that's come along and supported us. Do join us next year. We will be back in June on either the 4th or 5th of June. Get those dates in the diary. It's going to be wonderful to be able to welcome you to our community. Keep an eye on our socials and also on our website to find out more details of the PA Forum.